Yes, 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 who got brands talking? Brandlive.co.za Good afternoon and welcome to Love and Relationship. My name is Ndun E. Ndun. Um, today we will be discussing about a very interesting topic, um, a topic we title Sex in Marriage. I, I believe sex is uh, the one topic that can get anyone's attention. And I think it is one of the most powerful words on earth. I, I mean, I don't know a word that maybe when people speak at people, it's like everyone wants to turn and see who's talking about this, who's saying this. Sex is that word that when you mention it, it, it captivates people's attention. So today we want to understand what is the place of sex in marriage and then what are the practices and what should be done, what should not be done. You know, we believe that sex can be seen as one of the love needs of marriage. I think we should not make sex an obligation in marriage, my personal opinion, but rather let sex be a physical manifestation of your love for each other. So I have with me today in the studio um, a great man of God here, Pastor Chuks Ugohi, and uh, also another guest, my beloved wife, Emilia Andon. Um, I like them to, I mean, say something to us. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, Pastor Chuks. Well, thank you for having me on your show. Thank you, and uh, good afternoon to all the listeners. We're in for some good time this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be back. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we will be going through some discussions and some interactions. You know, one of the first questions I would like to ask, I want to throw to Pastor Chooks because um, this might be something a bit related to the men, but also related to the women. Is sex a good reason to marry? I mean, we're talking about um, that, 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 you know, uh, emotions that... Uh, you know, charging we have. Is, is it a good reason to well, marry? Well, it's a, it's a need that needs to be met. Um, people should marry. The Bible says, instead of burning, you should marry. You should marry, yes, yes. Um, instead of burning, you should marry. But I don't think someone should marry because they just want to have sex. Yes. I, I don't think it's enough reason to mm -hmm. grab any woman you find on the road. <laughs> And say, marry me. Yes, yes. You look, you look. You sh it, it looks like you can be good you in bed. You can give it to me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I don't think that should be the reason to grab somebody and say, spend the rest of your life with me because mm. I think you look good, or you may look good mm. in bed mm. because he's a me. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, and when we speak from a biblical, a biblical perspective, marriage is is much bigger than sex. Okay. And there has to be a divine purpose behind marriage. Um, I'm not trying to diminish the role of sex in marriage. Yes. Sex is critically important yes. in yes. marriage. Um, God actually designed sex yes. for marriage. Yes. So it's important that yes. we engage in sex and enjoy it okay. properly in okay. marriage. But okay. I don't think sh that should be the sole reason why you yes. should you know, decide to marry somebody because they there's a promise that they will look good in bed. Yes. After looking good in bed, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if you even go with that kind of reason, if someone goes with that kind of reason, mm. what if the person doesn't allow you to have the sex? I mean, the person doesn't give in well, to that. There's a problem. Because... There's a problem with that. Mm. Um, if the person now decides they don't want to have sex with you, uh -huh. which is a case that I've seen a few times yes. in, my, in my career as a marriage counselor, I've yes. seen you know, those kind of cases uh, where people just, you know, refuse mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Yes. So it's an intentional refusal. Okay. That's the problem. Yes. But there are cases where you cannot have sex, not because you don't want to, mm -hmm. but because there are medical challenges. Okay. Someone is sick. Okay. Uh, they are not in a physical position to have sex. Are you going to call off the marriage because your spouse is not able to? Yeah, but uh, that should be understandable. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But so if that, that was your major reason for marrying, for marrying then yeah. there's going to be a problem now because yeah. now the woman cannot perform or the man cannot perform because of physical One challenges, problem. you know, that's true. an accident, uh, childbirth, complication, mm. whatever, mm. and they are not able to perform Mm. at the junction mm. and it becomes a problem <laughs> it becomes a problem yeah. i think it's it's one thing for 
people to have needs, which is real. I mean, uh, sex could be or is a love need. It's one thing to have a need, but my concern in the need is that when a man, for instance, have this need, the man will not go looking for God's will of a life partner or a person to marry. The person or the man will want to satisfy his sexual need. And that means that the man will go for a physical look that will help him on this regard. Mm. And I think choosing a partner based on that, based alone, on that is, not, is not good enough. It's a problem. Yes. It's actually a big problem. Okay. I really yeah. agree with both of you that mm. this is not the, uh, is not the right um, reason to choose a partner. No, it shouldn't be. It might be. be a motivation for you to want to get married, but it shouldn't be the, the major reason. reason. The f yes, number for one you reason. For choosing somebody. somebody. And the reason for, for, for not allowing that to be your primary determining or determining factor mm. for who you choose is because sex and uh, sex needs they change as we grow mm. i've been married now 18 years okay. mm. the the sex needs they change as we grow okay. um there is a time when you know one needed to have sex every day mm. Mm. it's a need mm. or once in two days is okay. a need okay um, after 18 years, I don't need to have sex every day. Okay. It's not a need. Okay. I will not die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, we, we're coming to this point where we're going to talk about how often and you know, how, you know how, it is. How, how good you need to have it. Yes. <laughs> so, so we're really coming there. Mm. Um, you know, one of the questions I also want to ask, I, I want uh, Amelia to try to speak about this, is what are the purposes of sex in marriage? Because these are one of the things that you know, confuses a lot of people. Some people say some some ladies is just for child bearing. Some people say I it's bind, just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what will you think are the purposes of sex in marriage? You know, for me, sex sex itself it's it's a blessing from God to mankind, and sex is one of the most untalk about topic. Mm. I think people shy away from talking about it, yet it causes a lot of problem in homes, in marriages. Um, I think the primary number one purpose, I will say, is for procreation. And after procreation is for bonding for the couple. In summary, I think it is for enjoyment. Mm. But, but, you but do you think you can uh, maybe turn the number, like say the first one for bonding? For bonding. And the second one. <laughs> yeah, in case of okay. those I, I, actually, I actually don't agree with that <laughs> order. Cannot, yes, that no, I don't, I don't okay, agree with that okay, order. Let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase <laughs> yeah. it. Please for rephrase bon it. <laughs> for bonding, for enjoyment, for procreation. Does it sound better? Yeah, yeah. much better. <laughs> <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay so so guys we've heard that you know sex is not just for procreation sex is for bonding i i believe from from the biblical perspective we can see that you know when a man meets with a woman um they become one mm -hmm. yes. according mm -hmm. to the scripture mm -hmm. he said if you sleep with a prostitute you're one you with a prostitute one. so i believe sex bond binds people together that's right uh, and for me sometimes i always wonder if i see couples who fight a lot over teaspoon over spoon plate I think we need to check their sex temperature. That's true. It's like <laughs> no, you're right. There, there might be a problem. It is somewhere. true. Wherever yeah. there is a lot of fighting, mm. if you check it, you'll find that a lot of sex is not happening. <laughs> yes. No, it's true. So people are lacking something, mm -hmm. some some ingredient yeah. that should bond them But the them problem together. may not be the sex. It could be something else that causes them to abstain from the sex and then... And then, okay. So and now, the fighting now affects the sex. Yes. Yeah, because, because when there is fighting, you can't have sex. You, you can't speak nicely. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. It's not wrestling. The, it's not the, wrestling. <laughs> get, <laughs> you can't get the atmosphere coming up. Yeah, you know. And uh, sometimes I, I want to ask. Um, I think uh, Pastor Chooks can help us with this. Is mm. there something like too much sex in a marriage or, or too little? Well, because, okay. Let's talk about um, it. Um, the word, oh, the you know, using too much, too much would be different from one couple to the other. Okay. Too much is when the two people, all they do is sex mm. three times in the morning, three times in the afternoon, <laughs> three times in the afternoon. Their, life, their life is put on hold. They are not going to work anymore. All they are doing is humping in the bed, humping in the kitchen. What is it? Three everywhere. times in the morning, three times in the morning. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> where, like but even at yeah. that, it may not be too much for some people. No, see, so too much it would be relative. When your life stops, stops, okay, and, and you're not doing anything as a sex, okay, nobody will feel conventional <laughs> like that. Yeah, but as long as the couple are able to satisfy each other and mm. enjoy those moments of intimacy as mm. much as they want, mm. and their life is going on, it can't be too much. Okay. I think I think too, too much. much. Yeah. I think too much can also be when one spouse wants more than the other. Then it can be too much for for one person. For the person, oh. do you understand what I'm saying? When if the husband wants more than the wife, then it's too much for the okay, wife. Okay, if the wife wants it once in three weeks, once in a month, and the husband wants it once in two days, it's still the husband wants it more than the wife. So, yeah. So that definition, I think they should be able to work something out because That's the right. man is not crazy looking for it no once i'm in. saying that the too much may mm. not be for the man but maybe for the woman or so for the, the woman no i'm, say, I'm using it as an example for the man too. And for, there are some women that want it more than the men yes, yes yes it varies and it the guy is be, just yeah. tired it varies. and just can't it perform it could be anymore. for the man okay. it could be for the woman mm, but yeah. i'm saying that when it's too much it may not be for both people but if the wife or the husband has a problem then it's too much for the person. for the other then person yes. there should be a compromise yes no i yeah. actually had a situation where this woman wanted far more sex than the husband can give the man the man said to me this woman wants to kill me <laughs> <laughs> no when you mean far more like because the man yeah. might want it once a month no no and once in two days I in, mean. It, it, let's not talk about the frequency How many times? Uh, uh. it's about the person that is performing the act uh. can he sustain <laughs> so this woman man this man was saying that the demands of sex from my wife is too much for me mm. He says literally, I am tired. Meanwhile, some <laughs> other men are praying for, uh -huh. for that to happen. Some in fact, women are... this, this thing was raised in a marriage uh, retreat uh -huh. that we had. Uh -huh. And uh, the other men were saying, uh, this man, <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? If not, that we are not allowed, we will have opted for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> but I also think that laziness is a big part of the too much because some people are not ready to give in what it takes to get what they want. Yes. So it mm -hmm. becomes a problem. I mean, some men, if they have their way, they will actually pay someone to do the foreplay for them and they can just come in and summarize the game, you know, because <laughs> if you're not playing your role well, you can't expect otherwise. And if the woman is not satisfied, she's not willing to go on the outing with you next time. So mm -hmm. men also need to pull up their socks on this regard because I know a lot of men complain that um, they're not getting enough or their wife is not able to do one, two, three, four. But I think there is also room for both couples to pull up their socks on this regard and find a compromise should it be too much. Okay. So we've, we've answered the question of too much and uh, too late because while we're talking about, um, you know, couples who fight, we say that that could be a result of too little. You know, um, so now we want to um, look at something else here. You know, I believe the purpose of this show today is to help couples understand the purpose of sex and then how to enjoy it together. Because I believe sex must be enjoyed. Anything that is not enjoyed becomes a, a burden. Mm -hmm. And people, it's after work. a while, you work. know, yeah, it becomes work. Because that's what some couples look at it. I mean, some people could look at it as work i mean marital what did marital duties marital yeah but i see i see it far more than that so in just um a summary what are the things that could make um couples um see sex as work as uh, okay let me let me marital. put it this way um i teach that there are different types of types of sex in marriage there is enjoyable sex okay where the couple, both of them, enjoy it. Okay. But there's also duty sex. Okay. You see, duty sex is... It's a duty that you have to perform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even when you are not so ready for it okay. or in the mood for it. Okay. But your spouse needs it. Okay. you got to perform that duty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I, I, I remember a friend of mine was saying that he isn't... He, he's traveling. Okay. He travels a lot. Mm -hmm. He's been gone for two weeks or three weeks. And then he needs to come back. And perform his duty. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then go again. So so that one night or two nights that he comes home, uh, the woman cannot say, I'm tired. Yes. No, okay. the woman should be ready for, I mean, yeah, exactly. if there is real love he's, there. He's, he's been gone for two weeks or uh, three weeks. Uh, 
and then he, he branches home for one mm. night mm. and then he's going again for three that mm. woman cannot tell that she's tired mm. okay i think that's what, a you're, duty. what you're trying that's to say duty. is if she's not in the mood for it then she, it's a duty for it's her. a duty yes so she has to okay. perform that duty mm. otherwise this man is going to be going now for six weeks with no sex mm. see there's a problem there mm. so there's a duty that has to be performed okay um and when your spouse is demanding um that need to be met we have to perform that duty okay so even if you are not in the mood for it you will have to use your will and get your body in the mood to perform the duty mm. however it cannot be duty every day yes, yes. because if it comes duty every day then you mm. start dreading it mm. it has to be enjoyable yes. so i teach couples that they must practice and learn to have enjoyable sex most mm. of the time okay so that when duty sex is called for it's mm. not a problem to give it mm. because that is not the natural uh, regular let me use the word mm. regular flow of things flow. in yes. their house yes. it's enjoyable sex mm. so when duty calls then i'm willing to perform the duty okay you see well, that's very, so but very... if it becomes duty every day uh, then somebody starts dreading it okay. someone starts dreading it okay yeah. that's very interesting um i think you know for the purpose of time we will try and wrap up a bit and i will recommend to um uh, our listeners there I've written a book titled Living as One. There is one, Why Should I Get Married? There is the one, Living as One, which I really kind of explain how couples can start the foreplay and something like that and get into an enjoyable sex. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for married couples to read because... Does I mean, your book have pictures? Uh, no, no, no pictures. How for are now. you? <laughs> Who's the, whose picture? Uh, yeah, for the authors. <laughs> <laughs> no pictures for now so please you can get it on smash word living as one because uh, we may not have time to really go into the details of the foreplay and all that but one thing i want us to really discuss i mean before we wrap up is what are the limitations of enjoying sex in marriage because like you're saying there is a place of it being a duty you know where you just have to make your spouse enjoy it we had a marriage uh, event some time ago and someone make a comment is it sometimes it can be for me sometimes it can be for my spouse sometimes it can be for both of us to mm -hmm. enjoy mm -hmm. so maturity demands that people understand that mm -hmm. but now there are things that limit couples enjoying it some misunderstanding some quarrels some different things so we, we just want to help see if we can you know get some couples back in track to okay. enjoying okay, okay. Sex in there marriage. there are a number of factors there are relationship factors. Okay. There are psychological factors. There are health factors. Okay. Okay. There are even environmental factors. Mm. And are they demonic factors? <laughs> they are. Well, there, there, <laughs> some, there, could, there could be some. there could be spiritual uh, okay. spiritual okay. factors okay. that <laughs> affect mar uh, sex in marriage. Let mm. me talk about environmental factors. You guys are living in a place where there's no privacy. Mm. You know, you're probably living your, with your in-laws and there's so many people in your house. Mm. It, it, no, but you can make you it can... work. Don't they have a bathroom? It, it, that's a problem. You see... The bathroom is shared too. It, when you are there, people, <laughs> But uh, is there no there's door? A yeah, there's there's a yeah so, 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 so that can be a limitation <laughs> on how much sex is enjoyed. Mm, yes, that's um, yes, true. You know, when and you and live... women don't want that kind <laughs> of... <laughs> exactly. That doesn't stay and, up. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. you, when you are mm. living in a house where the next door people are listening <laughs> you can't moan you can't scream you know you can't maybe a silent one yeah, yeah. it's a limitation it's a limitation it is true it is, it is true. it's a limitation it's true you know or sometimes mm. you know everybody's awake and you sleep in the sitting room mm. and you know everybody's it's there true. you have to wait until everybody goes mm. so that you can do your thing mm. and it's a problem it's and a i think problem. even for men too mm. when it's month in some men struggle and, and i think uh, bills is another it's stress it's Psych stress. that's why i say psychological it's, factors it's, mm -hmm. it's stress at work limitation stress yes. at work mm. stress with life mm. Mm. affects you know children, people's children. children you have a sick child or sick mm. children both of you are stressed your mind can't focus mm. to really have sex and enjoy it. I think there is a lot of limitation, but mm. communication will do a lot of good. Mm. Because if there are the stress out there already and the people are not mm. communicating, then it, it becomes a big problem. Yes. But mm. if there is stress at work and you come back and you let your partner know the stress that you're going through, what's happening, I'm sure your partner will be able to uh, help you go through it in a good... Yeah, uh, so, so that's where the relationship is important. Where if the people in the relationship mm. really have a proper 
relationship. Mm. True. We can, when there's a proper relationship, there is mm. communication. They can talk mm. through. They it. can talk through things. Mm. They can find a way. Mm. So relationship is key. You know, recently, I think uh, this Saturday or so, I was just speaking with my wife and I said, do you know that I believe that some couples have forgotten the reason they got married? Because, you know, there is a way you get into something and you forget the main purpose of the thing. The reason mm. people got married is love. That's right. But some people have seen it as, you know, a, a kind of a right. She just belongs to me and, you know, we just need to live together for the kids and all that. I believe if couples can always remember that they are in marriage for love, th there will be something that, you know, will always get stirred up in them. Because love is an action word. Mm -hmm. Love is something that makes you want to relate with the person, communicate, play, have fun, you know, enjoy yourself. You know, I think some, some married couples, they've lost that spark, you know, between them. You know, I so it, it can also make um, sex very, I mean, a kind of a burden. Bo yes. Boring. Because that spark is not there. Yes. Mm. You know, I did a seminar at... Uh, at Valentine, on Valentine's Day, actually, on the 14th of February. Mm. And uh, the title of that seminar was How to Bring, How to Revive the Spark in Your Marriage. Mm. And I was teaching the couples who came. It was an awesome time. And just teaching the couples how to renew that spark, that, that you know, fire in the relationship. Mm. Uh, because a lot of people have lost it. Mm. A lot of marriages are fireless. Mm. They, it's cold. Mm, there's no, in fact, the people have become like roommates. That's the thing. And sometimes they, they're not even just roommates. They are hostile roommates. Mm. And they are always angry at each other. Mm. There's no love. There's no t intimacy. There's no tenderness anymore. Mm, mm. There's no affection anymore. Mm, mm. Uh, life has just mm. crept in so much mm. into their, their, their home that there's no more connection. Mm. You know? Uh, uh, so, so there are a number of things to mm, be done mm. to renew that spark. Mm. You know, there are a number of things, but, you know, today is not the day to, to yeah, get into the think, details of it. I think we will have time to continue this discussion mm. sometime, you mm. know, in future. But before we, we wrap up, you know, um, I'm sorry, listeners, we couldn't go on break because we started a bit late. So we had to, I mean, touch on these issues. Before we wrap up, I would like, um, I like to say, okay, ladies first, I want to give uh, Amelia a chance to tell me or to share with us one or two you know, most important factor that could cause a woman not to have interest in sex with her husband okay. as a woman. And then uh, Pastor Chooks would tell us about the men, you know. Um, mm -hmm. um, the thing is, one of the major reasons is a woman is emotional being. Mm -hmm. Some women don't feel their husband. They, they just follow instruction because the husband is the head and they, they go with him. But a woman wants to feel the love. Not just the love that you talk about. You need to show the love. It needs okay. to be action. <laughs> Why are you looking okay. at me like that? <laughs> it needs it's, your it's your husband. It's your husband. I know what he's thinking. <laughs> get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to learn from no, here. No, the woman so, so needs I'm, to. No, I see the spark in your yeah. eyes. The, man woman, of God. Needs to feel, the, the okay. woman needs to feel love because, you know, one thing that a lot of women complain about in several events that we've hosted, they say that when men want sex or when is there is it's time for sex, the men will come and play nice. They will come in the kitchen and do try pretend to help and no. all of that. But women really wants to be sure of this love so it doesn't have only have to be when you want sex show the case show the kindness be loving mm -hmm. you know be okay. fun filled you know let okay. the woman know that you love them give roses i mean if you don't have money pluck one from the garden if your wife likes roses okay. little things goes a long way but once a woman feel love she will i mean open up she has no reason to hold back but when the woman feels like you're using her you just come to her when you want sex and the sex is not even about her, i mean it's just about you mm. then i mean she becomes a slave in her own own home yes so, it can build a lot of resentment okay. Okay. you see for the woman sex is an emotional activity that has a physical ending mm. for a man sex is a physical activity that has an emotional ending mm. so for the woman is emotional first mm. so a man who understands that would put his wife in the best emotional state mm. to receive mm. love mm. so for the woman sex does not start in the bedroom mm -hmm. it actually starts at the beginning of the day mm. when you know she says good morning and all through the day mm. uh, it's, uh, so good sex 
actually starts a long mm. before, before the bedroom. Mm. Mm. Long okay. before the bedroom. Okay, now then, you answer the, the one for the men. Too. Yes. What do you think could uh, make men... Uh, so what will make a man not want to have sex with his wife? A number of things. Um, maybe he's tired. But okay. if it has to do with the relationship, it's usually resentment. Mm. Resentment in the mind of the man because either the woman is rude to him okay. and, you know, he's not respecting him okay. and he's taking him for granted or, you know, being very abusive. Okay. And the man will like, you know what, I don't want to touch you. When okay. you say tired, is it mental tiredness or body, no, physical? Yes. I, I, I just said... Tiredness. tiredness it can be mental if yeah. okay be, if, if, if the know. man is is tired it, like you've said can it be duty sex what if the woman wants it at that yes time? that's what i'm saying uh, so we, if there's looking a looking at limitations limit. that will make it always duty sex mm -hmm. if the for the good ones mm. because they are the ones who would say <laughs> i wouldn't even perform this duty mm -hmm. you know yeah so he's saying tiredness one of them okay. yes so but if if the man is not tired and the man doesn't want to make love to his wife mm. it's usually because he feels the woman doesn't respect him okay he, or he feels betrayed okay. so if he feels that the woman is sleeping with someone else okay. then he chooses not to share okay and the man you know holds his respect i i'm not going to touch you mm. because i don't know where you've been or i know where you've been and i don't want to be there with you okay. you know that's kind of thing so infidelity can make a man hold back lack of respect can make a man hold back emotional abuse i dealt with a, a case uh, some years ago, where this woman beats the man, shoo, mm. beat him up, wow. beat you must have sex with me, beat, and they beat the man like a child. Uh, In fact, the I'm man telling, has no strength to I, I, defend the, himself. No, him. that woman is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> they, even one time, no, this is a true story. The man went to a police station to go and report that he was beaten up, and unfortunately for him, the poli the cops he met at the police station were not kind. They beat him. <laughs> they slapped him for coming to report that his wife beat him what kind of stupid man is that <laughs> you know like we've said i think there are quite a lot of numbers of factors that uh, limit sex um um what do you call it um lack of security is one of them um for a woman i mean lack of it, proper communication too, communi yeah. yes communication lack of security lack of respect women also need to be treated with respect, with respect. and affection mm -hmm. and affection if yes. a woman know that you don't respect them that you take them for granted i mean why do it what for so there are quite a number of factors that limits uh, good sex in marriage okay so listeners we will be wrapping up there i think our time is up for now but you know in summary what we've said today is please you can enjoy sex with your spouse whatever it is you can work it out you know sex was meant to be enjoyed in marriage you don't just see it as a duty see it as something that you can you know enjoy because if you don't get it from your husband or from your wife where are you going to get it legally that's the only person who's supposed to give it to you legally yeah so and righteously and <laughs> <laughs> so, so whatever it is please try and talk through it and make sure you have the most fun that you could ever imagine thank you very much for listening you can get me on living as one events at gmail.com you can also get me on 078 2554517 thank you we hope to be back here same time next week until then god bless This message was sponsored by friends and partners of Living as One events. You are invited to our singles and married couples event featuring seminars, talk shows, Q&A sessions, single mingles, couples games and many more. You may visit our website for details of our events and register at www.livingasoneevents.com. You can also get our books on relationships titled Why Should I Get Married and Living as One. We also do counseling for couples and singles who want to make the right decisions regarding their relationships. For more info, please contact us on 078-255-4517 or email us at livingasoneevents at gmail.com. Please tune in again for another episode of Love and Relationship. God bless you.